Hi, my name's Ed Betridge. Um, I thought I'd do a bit of a video blog. Sponsors keep asking for blogs all the time, so I thought oh, I may as well do it in video rather than keep writing and tapping away on the laptop. So uh, I thought I'd just fill you in on what's happening down down at my fishing at the minute. Um, this is my syndicate water in Northamptonshire. Uh, it's, uh, it's 20 acres. It's got about 80 to 100 fish in it, so it's, it's not an easy lake, but it's it's not it's not impossible either. Um, over the, over the course of the last few weeks, I've been taking quite well off here. Uh, I've had back to about 19 fish all in all uh, and lost a few as well. Started off by fishing right at the other end uh, on a swim called First Point. Um, that, was a, that was a session about three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Um, I had uh, six bites all in all, landed five to 35 pounds. Um, really pleasing session that was. Uh, the following week I come back down again, that swim was taken. It can get really busy down here, especially at weekends. So I dropped in um, more like the middle of the lake type swim. Again, I had um, six bites in my, in my three night quota. Uh, landed only landed four this time, but again, I had, a, had another 35. So, really pleased about that, and really pleased the way things are going. And uh, I managed to book a bit of time off work. You know, this year has been a bit tricky for me because I've been working all over the place, and um, I just uh, just had my baby boy Sam. So I haven't had a lot, great deal of time on the bank, and uh, with me changing jobs and uh, one thing or another, I've not had any holiday off work either. So I, I took the first, uh, first couple of weeks holiday in, in September, so it's coincided with, with the big fish feed up time. Um, so I did, uh, did six nights out of the possible seven that I could do. I, I didn't want to be away from the family too long, but uh, you know, my girlfriend allowed me a, a few nights away. And um, uh, things happened for, for me then as well. I had, uh, I had eight fish, uh, lost a couple. Uh, one of them I landed that I lost, believe it or not. I had a hook come out of his mouth and landed in his back. Uh, but yeah, I had eight fish. Uh, biggest was a uh, 40 pounder, so I was, uh, I was really pleased with that. Um, I've joined here to, to catch a 40 pound common. I've had uh, a few 39s in the past, but never a 40 pound common. I've all the, the big mirror. So uh, yeah, things don't always go to plan, but I'm, I'm certainly not complaining. Um, as you can see, I've got rods out in the background, but I'm going to go off at, uh, at any minute. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, so far, this session, I've done a couple of nights, uh, picked up two fish so far. I've had a, um, Mid double, I think it was 14 and a half pound. I got for, I was doing a, a feature with Advanced uh, yesterday, so I was quite happy to get that from the cameras. Um, and this morning I've had a, a 26, so I was, uh, I was really pleased with that. So things are things are starting to happen for me in a minute. Um, this one wind's got no point it's right in the right in the back of the wind. Uh, it's, it's a bit of an old wind. It's been blowing for. Uh, for a few weeks now, um, so when I turned up the other day, the fish seemed to be on the back of it. Um, so I took a bit of a chance out, moved away from the area that I'm catching from in the past, and came down to here. Um, I was quite surprised there was nobody on the lake actually, uh, but it was, I suppose, it was a bit of an overcast, drizzly day, and I'd set up in the rain. So I don't know if that put people off or, or people's shift patterns or, or what. But yeah, I got down, the lake was empty. Very, very tempting to drop back into the swim I've been, uh, been catching from in previous weeks, but. Um, I saw fish here, so uh, I decided to drop in here. I don't think it's particularly swim based what I've been catching. Um, you know, obviously, I've been catching because the fish had been there, uh, so it's a case of walking around and finding the fish. And the last few sessions, they've been held in the weed in the, in the central sort of part of the lake, and that's what I've been catching. But, you know, being as I've hooked about a quarter of the lake stock from, from that sort of area, I think it's put the fish off a little bit, and I think they're, they're moving around the lake a bit more freely now, and that's why there was at this top end. Um, but I think I've, I spoke a few fish getting the rods out, um, but there's, there's still one or two kicking around, and you know, and that, that's what I've caught. Um, one of the reasons I, I did drop in here, I saw a big, big fish right down in that bottom bait in the bottom corner. Um, it just kind of stuck its head out, stuck most of its body out, and just just held there for a bit. And even though it was 170 yards away from where I'm standing now, it still looked like a big fish. And then there's a little fish in terms of bait left. It's uh, quite a funny swim in the minute. Is is Move the camera around. There's a, a bay right down the bottom there, that's about two acres, all in all. Um, and that's where I saw the big fish turn the other day. There's a little bay to the side here, and, um, oh. and then there's, there's the finger bay which stretches down there. It's probably about three quarters of an acre, and that's where I've got my third rod. Um, had a bit of the lead round in the base of the well, not the base of the finger bay, but halfway down the other day, because I saw a few fish when I was doing the feature with Advance, uh, just showing, uh, which was probably a major mistake, because then I, about an hour later I got a few liners on on this rod as the fish made the way out. Um, so I probably 
probably made a bit of an error on that one. Um, but I've got one night left and uh, see if I can make amends. Um, I don't know if I'm going to catch you or not, but uh, we'll see what happens.